Hey, hello. How's everyone doing? Uh, today I'm gonna make a short tutorial on how to import 3D animation inside VVV. And I'm making that recently. I've been uploading quite a lot of, not a lot, but quite a few animated character series on Instagram. And I got a few feedback from people asking me how I imported 3D animation inside V4. So I decided to make a short tutorial about it. Basically, this is what we're gonna reach. The amount of node is not that much, but it took me a while to reach this result. And once it's done, I can import whatever uh, 3D animated character inside. So it's quite handy, this one. And at the moment, I've only uh, tested with 3D animated characters from Adobe Mixamo. So I quite well know that it works with these, but I'm not sure with the others. Probably does, but I'm not sh sure with it. So I need you to test with it, uh, with that part. But anyways, uh, if you're if you didn't know about Mixmo, try it out. It has quite a lot of uh, animated asset. It's very powerful, and you can export it with FBX or Die, uh, which is a Collada file. And I tested with lot of file with skin and only getting the 3d model so if you're into it that works for sure okay so let's start how I made this up and uh, from scratch remove this guys side start a new patch okay so now first thing we all do so using VVVs we need a render uh, this one is the which render is this? DX11 render. So if you want to play with a uh, 3D animation, like uh, if you want to follow this tutorial, you first need the DX11 uh, pack. Then I group. I need an axis and grid. I also need a character, a camera. I often use this orbit camera. Okay. So this is quite simple. And then what I have to do is of the scene file. This one's from bots and this one is also included in DX11. So if you install DX11, you should also see this one. And uh, yeah, I'll just put the font for the shading. Final part. Okay, so this is gonna be the complicated part. Uh, you there's two nodes that we need to install here, and that's called skeletal mesh, and also the skeleton simple. Skeleton simple, and these two nodes. Well, it says it says red already because I'm not connecting anything. Comes with MPDX and. Finding the MPDX inside VVV contribution shouldn't be hard, it's from MicroD. Contribution, MPDX. Yeah, so it's part of this MP ecosystem, MD ecosystem, sorry. It's here. And I somehow got it from GitHub, from probably his GitHub, and it just copy pasted, it got worked. But you also need this MP Essential, and I couldn't figure out how I could just locally install this one. So you need to use VPM for MicroD. And this VPM, I sometimes don't like it because it also installs like DX11, the new recent version. And in VVV, sometimes if you install the recent version, it doesn't work. So I try to keep it on stay, the one that works stable. But if you want to have MP Essential, you need to install it via VPN and I'm not gonna explain how to install VPN and how to use VPN because it's explained all it's explained very uh, clearly on the document so follow this up and install the MP essential inside the right uh, path uh, inside the right v4 version that you're using that's all I can advise but you need this MP, uh, MP essential that's that you can download from VPN so Try that. After you're done with that one, the skeleton simple and skeleton mesh should work. 
So what I'll do here is I'll try importing one of the 3D animation I've got. Uh, human mesh walk. Is that this one? Not this one. I don't know why this keeps coming up, but it shows. And then this one. And then I'll need to connect Skeleton Symphony here. And I also need to get the duration. So, oh well, maybe I can try it without this one first. And then I just connect this as a geometry. However, it's not showing anything. And I know why it is happening. It's because I have the sample patch ran behind. And the skeleton simple thing and skeleton mesh thing only works with one running. If you have several running, it doesn't work. So I'll have to turn the other one off. Bye. Now it should still not work. That's right. Yeah, it doesn't work. And this is because I have to restart VVV and uh, I have to yeah, shut down VVV and restart it to make this node working. I don't know why this happens, but yeah, I'll just. This also requires me to save it. And just save this to desktop. Uh, 3D import. Whatever. Save it. Save it. I know what I'm doing. Then I delete VVVV. No. This one. Okay. I'll just start. Restart. Patch for the update. Okay, so now it's already showing something. This is really good. Okay. So you have to restart. Or I mean, if you're doing everything from scratch, I mean, I had this one open before, but if you're doing from scratch, you don't need to restart. Anything. Okay, so how do I animate this guy? I just tag LFO. Yeah, time. Okay, now it works perfectly. So yeah, this is the basic workflow on how to import 3D animations at VVV. Shouldn't be that complicated. For some of you, it might not work. I, I haven't tried with multiple uh, platform, and I'm not a real engineer kind of guy. So I mean, you might some of you might have questions. It might not work. But I'm not sure if I can solve those. But uh, thanks for watching. Oh wait, I have another uh, tip. So some I mean this one the animation looks quite smooth but some of the animation on 3d model is not always this one only runs about from zero to one in one second but sometimes the duration is not one second yeah this one only has one point zero 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 three for duration but for example i have different animated character i was using for a different one and assets which i downloaded from mixamo for example, this Roomba one, it has 2.3 second duration, so it's a bit fast. What I have to do is if I get this animation node, it shows me the duration, so I just connect that to period, yes. Now, it works the right speed. Oh, and the depth is wrong, so I just fix the depth. Non for standard. Now, everything should look fine okay so this was a short tutorial on how to import 3d animation inside v4 hope it works for everyone if not i mean you can try write me a question on on comment I might be able to help i might not be but i mean let's have a chat anyways thanks for watching and see you next time also if you have any tutorial that might be interesting i mean if you want to learn anything about me uh, please comment i'll uh, write that on comment i might be able to follow that up as a tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you next time.